Hi there, this is Russell Shorto. I'm the author of the book, The Island at the Center of the World, about the Dutch founding of New Amsterdam, which became New York. Now, why is November 16th chosen as the date to celebrate a connection between these two countries? On that date, in the year 1776, an American ship was sailing into the port of the Caribbean island of St. Eustatius, which was controlled by the Dutch. This was shortly after the Americans had declared independence. No nation had yet recognized this new country. The American ship uh, fired a salute, as was custom, on entering the harbor. The returning salute from the Dutch, from the island, was one that was given in recognition of a ship from a foreign power. So that salute, the first salute from the Dutch, was the first recognition of the sovereignty of what would become the United States. So what, I what are the origins? What are the roots? What is the reason for celebrating this connection? There are so many points of, um, of connection between the Dutch and the Americans, in particular influence. The Netherlands in the early 1600s founded a colony on the eastern seaboard of North America with its capital, New Amsterdam, on the wilderness island of Manhattan, and it extended north uh, for hundreds of miles and south for hundreds of miles. Um, history has largely um, uh, forgotten this colony and what it did, but what it did was very significant for American history. The Dutch brought two things. They brought tolerance and free trade. Tolerance uh, was unusual in Europe in the 1600s. Intolerance was official policy in most places. Uh, everybody thought that if you wanted to get ahead, every, that, mean, that meant that everybody in your um, a nation had to be on the same page, especially with regard to religion. Everybody had a state religion. They were intolerant of others. The Dutch flew in the face of that, and they made a great empire that traveled the world based on a notion of tolerance, that if we can accept others, then we can actually get ahead and profit from that. They brought that with them. The Dutch at the same time invented the principles of what would become capitalism. They invented the concept of shares of stock and of a stock exchange. They invented the modern notion of free trade and they brought that with them too. So if you think about it, those two things, tolerance of others and free trade, uh, those are recipes for what would become New York City. So the Dutch colony lasted from the 1620s until 1664 when the English took it over and renamed it New York. But when the English took it over, they kept those features. They saw that this functioning uh, port city was doing something valuable. They didn't necessarily understand how it worked, but they wanted it to keep working. So they kept these features in place, allowing for continuity, allowing New York to be essentially New Amsterdam, but under, under the English. And when that happened, when you had this uh, uh, mix of things going on then under the English, if you move forward a couple of hundred years into the 19th century, by then New York City is this big burgeoning place with all of this activity in it. And all of these immigrants now are coming from Europe, waves of immigrants. They're landing in New York. They're looking around in amazement at Manhattan. They, are, they, they start participating in it. They are getting ahead. And slowly they or their descendants move westward. They move to Ohio. They move all the way to California. So they brought with them the seeds of what was essentially Dutch, these Dutch seeds that were planted there. And that's how the Dutch influenced not just New York, but America. And you can see those influences in all kinds of ways, not in just these abstract terms like tolerance and free trade. You see them in cookies. Why do we eat cookies rather than biscuits? That's the English word. Cookie is a Dutch word. It means little cakes. American coleslaw comes from the Dutch coleslaw, which means cabbage salad. Uh, the American Santa Claus comes from the Dutch Sinterklaas. So there are all these ways in which the Dutch influenced 
in, in very practical everyday uh, terms and in these abstract concepts, what America became. One last point. Soon it's going to be Thanksgiving. We all know that the pilgrims came from England. Not quite right. The pilgrims went from England in order to seek religious freedom. First, they went to the Netherlands. And after a while, some of them left there and went to New England. And after their first difficult year, when fall came and they had put, enough, put aside enough crops, they decided to have a day of Thanksgiving. The day of Thanksgiving was a tradition in the Dutch culture. So that too may be something that was borrowed from the Dutch. So on Thanksgiving as well, you might pause and think about this long-standing historic friendship.